Well, all aspects of reconstructive surgery is done here at Memorial Medical Center. They range from procedures of the breast, procedures involving the hand. A lot of what we do, for example, would focus on breast reconstruction after cancer. In addition, reconstruction related to post-traumatic injuries, whether someone has a soft tissue deficit or there's some tissue that's missing, we try to replace that. And reconstructive surgery of the hand also. So it's a wide variety of um, procedures that are done. It en encompasses procedures ranging from the head all the way down to the feet, so it's fairly comprehensive. Well, yes, we've seen from um, farming injuries to injuries related to the use of table saws and snowblower injuries and what have you. And, of course, secondary to motor vehicle accidents where there are extensive fractures and skin or muscle that may be damaged or missing in some cases in severe injuries. We have all of that or se severe disruption of, um, you know, skin and muscles from trauma. Facial trauma also due to fractures or even at times even gunshot wounds to the face. We see all of that and we tend to manage that. The majority of procedures done now is actually on an outpatient basis. The only procedures that aren't done on an outpatient basis, of course, would be um, certain forms of reconstructive surgery, and um, especially breast reconstruction. And in some cases, patients that have, say, bed sores that are actually being closed by doing certain complex procedures like flap reconstruction, those patients are required to be in-house. In some cases, if, say, if it's a hand injury where we may have to do replantation of the digits or an extensive procedure in the hand, well, those patients may actually stay in the hospital just to be monitored. But the majority of plastic surgery procedures are done on an outpatient basis. We have a comprehensive practice here where there's tremendous experience in terms of dealing with lots of, you know, minor procedures and also complex procedures. Whether it's a cosmetic procedure or a reconstructive procedure, we do have the capability of doing all of it here in Johnstown. I think the practice here in Johnstown is a fairly comprehensive practice. We're able to do all procedures. The most common procedures that are done are, of course, um, in terms of quantity-wise. I think it, it involves um, skin lesions, um, and those could be lesions related to skin cancers. We do a tremendous amount of procedures in the hand, from carpal tunnel to injuries related to fractures to tendon injuries and such things, and also a um, tremendous amount of um, breast reduction procedures in addition to reconstruction for the breast and from all other areas of um, the body. In addition to that, um, issues related to wound care, we tend to do a lot of that also, and that leaves a dramatic impact on patients because um, having a chronic wound for a long time really does impact on someone's life, and the ability to be able to enable those wounds to heal and to enable patients to be much better really does go um, a long way in terms of improving quality of life and also to prevent certain comorbidities that could result as a result of having chronic wounds and the impairment in your ability to function, to work, and just self-esteem in general. My interest was first spiked as a, early in my residency training. I saw someone who had a mastectomy for breast cancer and um, the plastic surgeons at that time were brought in to reconstruct the breast. And that, to me, made a dramatic impact because there was a patient who was, in her mind, was going to be significantly disfigured, secondary to having her breast removed. And at the end of the procedure, we were able to reconstruct the breast, and she was able to leave the institution feeling that she had not really lost the breast. The loss was not that significant. And that impact that it made on her really drove me to realize that there are lots of procedures that could be done in plastic surgery where you'll make a dramatic difference in people's lives um, in terms of their self-esteem, you improve form and function, and it's, it wasn't all about 
cosmetic procedures, but there are lots of people out there who actually are in great need of reconstructive procedures. And these are procedures that would really cause them to have an improved quality of life. And for me, it was that dramatic difference, enabling someone to have an improved quality of life that drove me to plastic surgery. Well, I think it's an excellent staff, and they're very dedicated. Um, to be in wound care, I think it takes a special individual. Not everyone is interested in wounds. And the staff that's there, they're dedicated, they're motivated, and they're very compassionate. And I think we have an excellent wound care center as a result of the staff. I mean, the physicians are, of course, one aspect of that, but I think the nursing care is excellent. I don't think we could have had a top-quality wound care center without the dedication of those nurses that are there. Well, I think in most cases they're really happy that there's someone who's able to take care of them, showing them dedication, compassion, and also f for them to see the results of actually having that wound healed. Patients, are, they really appreciate it. It really does make a difference. And most important of all, there's a tremendous amount of education. I think patients are told the reason why wounds may not be healing or the things that are required for them to do to enable those wounds to do much better or to heal. And I think that aspect of it really helps them to prevent problems from developing in the future. And also it really emphasizes um, the necessity of them being compliant with other medical problems that they may have, for example, with diabetes or with cessation of smoking and such things. We tend to emphasize all of that. It's an entire a comprehensive care that's done, not just management of the wound by itself, but we try to um, educate patients so that they're an active participant in, them, in their overall well-being and to um, help their wounds to get better. Well, it is wonderful in that um, we have access to operating rooms whenever it's needed, actually. We have um, great support and staff, anesthesiologists who are actually um, board certified and who are um, well trained, highly trained and competent. So in terms of doing procedures, even though a lot of the procedures are done on the local anesthesia, we have readily available lots of staff that are highly trained and competent in case they may be needed. So from that aspect, I think it's wonderful we do have the appropriate support that's needed to enable us to take care of patients and to have, um, you know, excellence every patient, every time. So it works well.